Okay, I've washed my hands. Knock, knock. Hi, Michael. My name's Corey. I'm an FNP student. I'll be taking your, uh, doing your assessment today. Are you okay if I record this assessment and then put it onto YouTube for my class? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so first I'm going to, for this neurological assessment, I'm going to start out with the cognition of my patient, checking to make sure he's alert and oriented. He is alert, he's awake, oriented. What's your name? Michael. Do you know what today's date is? Yes, February 5th. Okay, do you know what year it is? 2021. Okay, what, do you know where you're at? I'm at the clinic. Awesome, what are we doing here? We're doing an assessment. Awesome, I love it. Okay, so my patient is alert and oriented times four. Um, as he's speaking, I don't notice any tr uh, stutters or any stumbling over words, so his speech is doing really well. And then next I'm going to assess recent and um, remote memory. So who is the president today? Joe Biden. Awesome. And then um, who is the president two presidents ago? Um, that was Obama. Well, that was quicker than I could have probably, <laughs> so good job. Um, and then, so that's everything for cognition. Um, the, everything there was good. The next one is all the cranial nerves. So for this first one, go ahead and close your eyes and uh, include one of your nostrils and then tell me what you smell. Okay, deep breath in. You smell that? Yeah. What is that one? Uh, is that garlic powder? You betcha. Okay, other nostril, same thing. Okay, smell that. What do you smell on that one? Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice, yes. Okay, good job. The next one is cranial nerve number two and that one is the optic nerve. So for this one, I'm gonna take my snail and chart. Um, I'll be six feet away. Go ahead and read, so cover one eye okay. and read the smallest line that you can read. Okay, L-T-F-P-H. Okay, cover your other eye and read that backwards. H-F-T, H-F, gosh, I'm not even, well, H-P-F-T-L. Perfect, okay, now both eyes and front to back, or left to right. L-T-F-P-H. Perfect, so we've got 2020 vision. I know it's hard, sorry. Um, I no, you're good. So that one is um, part of the optic nerve. The next one is going to be uh, the periphery. So go ahead and cover one of your eyes. I'm going to kind of wiggle my fingers. Tell me when you can see both hands. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Other eye, same thing. Yep. 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 Okay. Now both eyes. This one's a little repetitive. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yep. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so peripheries are good. And then the last thing I'm going to check for the optic nerve is I'm going to go ahead and look at the red reflex. So I'm going to just be looking into your eyes, looking at your, the back of your eyes, the retina, um, kind of big getting in a little bit close. So first I'm going to go out at about a 15 degree angle, left eye to left eye, look for that red reflex. I totally see that. So now I'm just going to make sure I'm using ophthalmoscope safety, putting a hand on his forehead, reaching out with my other fingers, kind of looking in there. Moving around, looking at the back of the optic disc. The optic disc is nice and crisp. There's no AV nicking noted, no macular degeneration or cognitive spots or anything like that. So I'm gonna just do the same thing on the other eye. Try to blind you. Open up big for me. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, same thing on that right eye. All the same findings. Um, okay, so that is everything for the optic uh, cranial nerve. The next one we're gonna test is three, four, and six. We're gonna test those all together. It's oculomotor, tro uh, trochlear, and abducens. The major difference between these ones is in the extraocular movements. Um, and what we'll see there is that the lateral movements are going to be abducens. The medial and downwards are going to be the, tr uh, the trochlear. And then everything else will be the oculomotor. So go ahead and just with your eyes, try to keep your head still, just follow my pen. Awesome. I don't notice any nice stagmus or ptosis or eye drooping. Do you have any double vision or anything like that? Okay, now just keep following my pen. Awesome, same thing. Okay, now go ahead and look past into a distant object. Now look back at my pen. Same thing, back at my pen. Okay, both eyes, the pupils are um, constricting or dilating as they look past me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and check for pupillary reaction to light. So just kind of look at my nose, okay? And I'm doing both direct and indirect um, pupillary response direct, looking at that eye with the light shining in it, indirect looking at that opposite eye. Both of those pupils are constricting 
um, as they're supposed to with any sort of light shine on either eye. So pupils are round, uh, equal round and reactive to light cake. So for this next one, I'm going to have you cover one of your eyes and then keep your head straight at me. Look up here. Now uncover your eye. Perfect. So that eye, the conjugate phase is the same. So do the same thing with the other eye. Okay, uncover. Perfect. So we don't have any sort of um, tracking coming back to the object. Your eyes are nice and intact. So that is three, four, and six. Lots of stuff there. Um, the next one we're going to test is number five to skip that one. That was a trigeminal. So go ahead and open and, or clench your jaw and then open. And I'm kind of doing it against resistance that tests that temporal and master muscles there. It was so good. And then you can also check for corneal reflex with a cotton ball in the cornea of the, or on the square of the eye. I'm not going to do that. Um, that one's uncomfortable. And then um, the next one I'm going to do is um, soft or dull. So I'm going to have you close your eyes and I'm going to touch either your forehead, cheek, or chin with a soft or dull object. So just tell me soft or dull and then I'll ask you where, okay? So close your eyes. Soft or dull or sharp or dull? Sharp. Okay, where was that? Uh, forehead and left side. Perfect. Soft or dull? Dull. And then where was that? Cheek, right side. Perfect. Soft or dull? Uh, that was sharp. Uh, oh, there it is. It was dull. It was uh, the beard hairs <laughs> sticking in there. And then where was that one? That was um, chin, left side. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So that was really good. Um, and then, so that was everything for cranial number, number five, the trigeminal nerve. The next one was abducens. We did that one. Number seven is facial. We're going to check the upper facial and then the lower facial cranial nerves. So for the upper, go and raise your eyebrows. Then for the lower, puff out your cheeks, smile, frown. Awesome. Very well done. Uh, so that's number seven. Number eight is vestibular cochlear. We're going to be, and that's hearing imbalance. We'll test balance a little bit later through Romberg test. Um, but for hearing, he's been able to hear me well. He hasn't been saying what or huh or anything like that. If he were, you would definitely move on to the Weber or Renee test. For this practice we're, or for this video, we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. So for the Weber test, I'm just going to hit this. Tell me if you hear this in one or both ears. Sorry, would you do it again, please? Uh-huh. Here we go. And then both. Perfect. Hey, and then for this one, I'm going to um, hit it and put it on the mastoid process here. And then tell me when the ringing stops. Okay. You can go ahead and say now. Yeah. Okay. Do you still hear it? Yes. Okay. Um, that's because air connection is greater than bone connection. Just for this video, we're shortening it a little bit. Okay. Same size. Yes. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Um, so that's Weber and Weber and then the Renee test. Um, the next one, so it's cranial nerve number eight, number nine, and number ten are glossopharyngeal and vagus nerve. We usually test those together. So for this one, I'm going to just kind of you open up your mouth, say, ah, ah, perfect. We've got that uvula is midline, the, both the uvula and the soft palate rise when he says that. Um, cough. Okay, and then try and swallow. Perfect. I'm not going to make you gag or anything like that, but that shows that both of those cranial nerves are intact. Number 11 is the spinal or spinal accessory muscle. So for this one, I'm going to be testing the strength of your like your trapezius muscles and then your sternocleidomastoid muscles. Sure. So I'm going to lift your shoulders. Perfect. Then turn your head against my oh. hand. Perfect. And then the other way. Perfect. Okay, so that one's intact. Number 12 is um, the hypoglossal. And that one, I'm going to be stick your tongue straight out. Perfect. It's nice and midline. It's not deviated to one side. And then against this cheek and then this cheek. Awesome. Nice and strong. Okay, so, sorry. <laughs> that was all of the uh, cranial nerve test that we're going to do. The next one is the cerebellum or coordination. So for this one, I'll have you stand up and then I'll have you just kind of walk back and forth right here. Just forward. Okay, turn around. Just a couple steps backwards. Okay, now walk that way on your toe, or sorry, heel to toe like this. Perfect. Now come back this way. Awesome. And I'm going to go that way on your tippy toes. Perfect. I'll walk back on your heels. Perfect. Awesome. So he's nice and coordinated. And then for this next one, I'm going to have you just stand and then have your hands up like this, palms to the sky, and then close your eyes. This is the Romberg test, so this also tests the vestibular cochlear nerve as well with balance. I don't see any pronator drifting with the hands going anywhere. You can also test by going like this, pulling back up. Perfect. Okay, hey, you're good. Um, go ahead and sit back down. Um, that one is the um, the pronator drift with. If they, if they were to lag on one of those, that would be a positive pronator drift. Um, also with coordination. Um, I'll have you do, it's called, they're called rapid 
uh, movement. So just copy what I'm doing, go as fast as you can. Perfect, awesome. You can also do the finger to nose one. I'm not gonna do that, you're just gonna do one of those. Um, next one, we're gonna do sensory. So for this one, um, for sensory, I'm gonna have, okay, yeah, for sensory, I'm going to do what's called graphesthesia. I'm gonna draw a number on the palm of your hand. You just tell me what number it is, I'll help you close your eyes, okay? Okay, close your eyes. Okay, next hand. Eight. Awesome. Okay, so that one's graphesthesia. Next, I'm going to test two point discrimination. Where's my other? Over here. Okay, so two point discrimination, I'm just gonna use these little toothpicks, I won't press very hard, but um, just tell me if you feel one point or two points. Mm -hmm. Okay, so close your close your eyes. Sorry, I'm gonna have you go oh. just right there. You can actually just relax your hands. Okay, two or one? One. Okay, two or one? Two. Okay, and then I'm gonna kind of go on your feet, two or one? Uh, two. Okay, and then two or one? One. Okay, two or one? Um, would you mind repeating that one? Uh huh. No, no. Is it just one? There's actually two. Oh. That's okay, close your eyes, I'm gonna do one more. Alright. That one? Uh huh, and then one more. Perfect. So um, a lot of times you'll see on the hands, the nerve endings are really, really close together. So I was actually only about this far apart on your hands. Mm -hmm. On your legs, I was like this far apart. Oh. So, and even then, so the, the nerve endings are pretty far apart, kind of in different areas of the body. But so far, you did, you did pretty well. Um, next thing I'm going to do is checking joint position. So I'm gonna have you hold your finger out, like your hands out like this, close your eyes, and then tell me if I'm lifting your finger up or down. Oh. Okay. Awesome. Okay, same thing with your toes. Just relax. Kind of keep your eyes closed. Up or down? Up. Down. Down. Up. Awesome. Okay, good job. So that's um, another part of sensory. And then the last part of sensory that I'll check is kind of uh, just like the sensation kind of in your skin. So I'm going to have, again, my cotton ball and my cute or my toothpick. And then you just tell me if it's sharp or dull. Okay, okay so you can keep your eyes closed. Dull. God, press harder. <laughs> Dull. Dull. Awesome. Okay, perfect. And then you can also, so that is um, superficial, tactile, and painful stimuli. Um, I did that on the upper and the lower extremities, especially in cases where you've got diabetes or any sort of um, neurovascular um, risk factors, then you'll want to kind of focus that assessment in different areas. Like diabetics, you'll really want to focus on the feet, um, which we did some of the feet there too. So. Um, and then you can also check for vibration sense. So close your eyes and just tell me where this is, whether it's on your uh, knee, ankle, wrist, elbow. I'm just going to put it on that bony spot, okay? Yeah. My ankle. Uh -huh. Do you feel that vibrate? Mm -hmm. Okay, same thing. Elbow. Perfect, one more. Yes. Okay, perfect. And you can't show it on that ulnar process right there. Um, and you feel that vibrate? Yes. Okay. Awesome, so that is all sensory. Motor is next, and we're just gonna be doing upper and lower extremities motor. Um, all the while, I'm gonna be checking for any sort of ma uh, muscular degeneration, which I don't really see any, but we'll kind of go through that. Um, any sort of um, like involuntary movements, tremors, dyskinesias, anything like that. Just look for any abnormalities as we're doing this assessment. So for this first one, I'm gonna, so have, have your fingers out like this close together and then try and push them out wide against my hands, perfect. And then now out wide and try and keep them out wide as I push. Awesome, so that's finger strength. Next one, go like this. Don't let me put, break your wrist down, awesome. And then go and put your shoulders kind of at your side. And then this is the elbow one, don't let me push down or up, awesome. Okay, now push it, uh, let's see. Don't let me push your, so that was the elbow, so now I'm gonna do the shoulders. So don't let me push them out. Okay, now hold them out here. Don't let me push them down. Okay, and then hold your arms out here. Don't let me push them down. Don't let me push them up. Awesome. So that was hands, wrist, shoulder, elbows, shoulders. Next one I'm gonna do um, while you're sitting here. Go ahead and relax your feet down. You can't quite see, but I'm gonna be pushing down on the feet and up. So try not to let me push them down. So, or push up against my hands. Now push down against my hands. Perfect. Um, and then while he's sitting here, I'm also gonna be checking his knee strength. So. 
pull your legs down and then push them up against my hands. Awesome. So that was ankles and knees. So next I'm gonna do hips. I'm gonna have you lay on this very fancy um, hospital bed that we have here. And for this one, I'm gonna be checking, sorry, it's <laughs> very narrow. I'm gonna be checking your hip strength. So yep, kind of keep your legs bent and now push your knees out, now together. Um, and then push up right here and now push down. Same thing, up and down. Awesome, now straighten this leg best you can. Push and then lay it down, push this leg over and now don't let me push down. Now don't let me, oh. Now just push against my hand. Okay, same thing. Cross that knee over, push up against my hand, now down against my hand. Awesome, okay, you can come sit back down. Um, thank you, that was kind of a lot. And then the last thing we're gonna test for this video is just your reflexes. So first I'm gonna do your biceps reflex right here. Oh, sorry, pop up, I'm gonna scoot you a little bit more central. I guess I could move the camera too, but. So for this one, I'm gonna check your biceps, just relax around there. I'm actually gonna do it right on you. That's good. And you would see a kind of twitch in the thumb, I'm gonna do it right here too. Awesome. And then I'm going to go ahead and do your triceps one. So just relax your arm as you can. And you just would see that little flick right there. Same thing here. Relax your shoulder best you can. Awesome. And then you have amazing reflexes. Okay. Now just relax here. And I'm going to do the patella right here. Show that patella tendon. Oh, well, look, you almost have one there. Okay. Awesome. Then I'm going to go ahead and do your... Um, Achilles reflex on both of these. Awesome. And then for this last one, just to show, I'm gonna bring you down here. Um, just check for this Babinski reflex. So I'm gonna actually just relax your foot. And then as I go, I'm gonna take this actually, just up the foot right here. You'll see those toes kind of curl under. And that is everything for our neuromuscular exam. Thank you so much.